Hello, this is the Formatting Advisor with the Graduate School. With the sudden need to work remotely and sign forms electronically, I thought I would give you a crash course in how to use DocuSign to fill out your Certificate of Approval form. First, go to the MSU webpage and search DocuSign. And click on the link here. This is UIT's page with a lot of great information, including more links and even more in-depth video tutorials. Um, like I said, this is just a crash course. So first we're going to click the button that says login and click this first link here. Go ahead and enter in your school email address. Click continue and then click use company login. It'll bring you um, to the portal where you enter in your net ID. You can hit login. The correct password this is the DocuSign home page but first we need to get our form in a new tab go to the graduate schools web page then here under current students you can go to the forms page um, you can scroll down until you find the certificate of approval form and download it and you can um, save it on your desktop. I'm just going to drag it here. Oh. It already did it for me. Okay. And you can also get the uh, COA form from the ETD website. So we're back here on the DocuSign page. Click this button that says new and choose send an envelope. And now we can upload the video. I'm just going to, or the document, I'm just going to drag it here. Next, you'll need to add the list of people who need to sign it. So first you have to add yourself because you also need to sign it. And then you add your committee members. I'll just add grad formatting here and we'll add one more. We'll add fake name. Just do my regular email. Okay, so you can choose these options here if you need to um, change what they need to do. If somebody just needs to see it um, and doesn't need to sign, you can change those. If you need to set a signing order, so if it needs to be signed in order, you can check this box here. Um, if you don't, you can leave it alone. Um, you can, when you send it, you'll send a message. Um, you can change the email subject and email message there if you need to, and then hit next. In this next box here, click assign to and click yourself. Um, so this is me. I'll click myself and click confirm. So it assigns all fillable fields to you. Um, and you can go ahead and start filling out all of these other fields. And you can make sure to click one of these student and committee agreement forms. It's either one or two. Um, over here, there's a button that says checked. So once you've filled out all this top matter here um, and chosen your agreement, you can start assigning signatures. So this will be you, so you can put your own name here. Um, this will be your chair. And you can change the recipient here. So grad formatting needs to sign this. Um, and this will be their signature field, so you can reassign that as well. Um, so they'll be able to adjust those fields. Now, say you don't have a co-chair, um, that's okay. You can just click on the box and hit delete and that will go away for you. I think I named this person fake name. Yes, I did. So I'm gonna sign this to fake name so that they'll get this email and they'll have to sign it. And then I'm just going to click and drag over these. I'm gonna hit delete so they all go away. Uh, there's only two people on my fake committee. Uh, so once you've filled out everything and assigned all signatures, you can hit the button that says send. And it'll ask if you want to sign it now or later. You can just sign it now. We'll walk through this together. Hit continue. Um, if you've made a mistake in any of these fields, you can adjust it at this point. Um, you can hit start and it'll lead you to where you need to sign, but just click on the button that says sign and it signs it and you hit finish. Um, and so that'll be good for you and it'll send it to our committee members um, who will need to sign it concurrently and they will 
do it. And once everybody has signed, um, they should all get a emailed copy. Once you're done, you can um, email it back at that forms page we were at. We have a box folder for uploading documents here. And you can just upload your file, just drag it into this box here, and we will get it at the graduate school and get it sorted. Um, okay, I hope that helps get you started. Thank you so much for working with us.